Good to see you here. Well, we're glad that you're here. We're going to be talking about engaging new clients and coaching them efficiently, also effectively and empathetically. So I think you're at a great place if you're looking to bring on clients that stick around and, and uh, do well. And so we're glad you're here. So our um, objectives for today are how to, how to initiate the coach-client relationship, the learn the best practices for supporting your clients, and mentor your new coach for successful support. So a lot of the stuff we're gonna be going over is for you as a health coach to um, help your clients. But then if you have new health coaches yourself, you just use this information and teach them the same. So it kind of goes hand in hand. So what is your job as a health coach? Well, we help clients understand where they are today. Um, the best way to do this is with the well-being evaluation and tracker. Um, you can bring this out to them before they even become, I like to do it, while they're just thinking about Take Shape for Life. And let them see, it helps us know where they are and it helps them see, it kind of opens up the window so that you can talk about um, the trilogy and what all of Take Shape for Life can offer them. And usually what I do is I just go over the tracker with them and I don't go into it with detail. I just say, now if you look at your, your um, where your numbers are now, just know with Take Shape for Life, all those numbers can be improved because I saw improvement in all those numbers. I know you're just working on your body right now, but I did want you to know that there's so much more to this company. Um, you also want to find out what's most important to them. I never talk about the program until I find out what they want. So I'm always asking, asking questions, asking questions, and then once I know what they're looking for, then I can pose Take Shape for Life, the program, to what they're looking for. Because we know we can do that. Our program is for everybody, but you don't want to talk about that, you know, you, the lean and green, if they really don't care about that, they want something fast and easy and no mix and measuring. So you really want to know exactly what they're looking for and hit those areas the most. Could I touch on that a little Please bit too? Do. Uh, one of the things that we've noticed as we're talking to our newer health coaches, that they think that what somebody wants that's most important to them is a goal weight, and they stop there. Or I want to be in a size smaller, or I just want to feel great. But that's not really solid enough for somebody to realize once they see that, that piece of pizza or that donut, to keep them going a little uh, time. So if you could really dig in a little bit deeper and find out really why are they doing this? Where is the value to them? Can they see themselves on the other side of the scale? As their health evaluation score goes up and the scale goes down, they are on their way to optimal health. And what's that going to look like for them? So ask those questions, the activities they're going to be doing, how they're going to feel, how it's going to impact their relationships. Really understand them, and that's going to be their motivator as they go through their program and their journey. That is so true, and that helps them feel it in their heart, and that intrinsic motivation will come out of them. So good point. And then you want to establish accountability. Um, this is in your check-in calls, you know, make sure that they know that you're going to be checking in with them. We never want to help coach and bring on a client and never talk to them at all, or only once a week when they're first getting going. That is a setup for disaster. You really need to talk to them every day, um, you know, until they really have a good base and you feel comfortable that they are on their way. I usually talk to them, all my clients um, seven, the first seven days. And if the weekend comes in, I tell them I'm just gonna text them on the weekend. But um, I find that they have much better success if, if I'm right there with them. And then empathetically support and coach and just really be there for them. Um, you know, do what you say and say what you do and uh, they'll be more likely to um, be excited about following the program and uh, checking in with you. I love what you said on the stage earlier today where you're talking about in the beginning you'd say you need to do this, tell them this, and you expected them to get back to you at a certain time, and instead it's like meeting them where they're at and then bringing them to where they'd like to be, and you're just that guide through the process. Okay, so your objective as a health coach, you're there to offer the optimal health. That's actually the trilogy of optimal health. How many of us are offering weight loss? How about who's offering just a healthy body? Do you realize that somebody has that healthy body for yourself? Do you remember how you started thinking of the possibilities and you had hope for the future and what it could be like and you started thinking, oh gosh, I can't wait to tell people 
when in the beginning you were not going to tell a soul. It's like so cool. So for your clients, that same thing, what, even at the pre-client stage, if you're planting the seed that even more is possible when they're feeling that good and they're going to be wanting to share it with everybody they know, that they might want to do what you do. You don't even have to say, you might want the opportunity to be in a health coach. So like, you can do what I do or feel as good as I do, paying it forward or whatever your words are. Right at the very beginning, you're plant, planting that seed of the whole offering. That health evaluation also is an opportunity to plant that seed. So build relationships and trust. What's in it for them, not what's in it for you? If you have a tendency to be the person that says, all right, oh good, I got a client, and you stop there, Phew. did you know that's just the beginning? That's the very beginning of your relationship. So if you're building that trust and you told them that you're gonna be there and help them guide them through that process, then be true to your word. Be there along the way and show them that they really can depend on you. Be committed to your client's success. Again, just because you got them on that first order and now you've got that frontline volume is not what this is about. This is about getting them going on their journey and having them have that success so that they too can turn around and help somebody else as well. Treat all clients as if they're gonna join as health coaches. Do you realize you are training them as a health coach right from the moment you start to talk to them the very first time? And if you do it well, all you have to do is say, remember how I talked to you in the beginning? It's that simple. So the best practices for best results, and I'm gonna do a disclaimer on this. Again, we are about coming alongside you and empathetically coaching you to where you wanna be, whether you're a business coach in the room helping your new health coaches or you're a health coach helping your new clients. The best practices, we don't wanna tell you what to do. Just like as you go through and guide your clients, if you're telling them what to do, they're more, gonna be more likely to be resistant than compliant to the program. Well, that's the same thing that's true here. Instead of going, here, here's the system, and we're gonna tell you this is how you have to do it, you're most likely gonna say, see if I do that, or, well, maybe I will. And some of you have the attitude, of course I'm gonna do exactly that, but everybody's in a different place. But if we come alongside you and say, here's a system that can really help your clients have the very best success possible, Let's apply these things and they're gonna have the best results. Would you like to do that with them? You're more likely to wanna to do it, right? These are the things that the leaders have come up with that they're all in agreement that this is the best practices. Now you're gonna do everything on it or you might do most of it or you might do what applies for the circumstances. But we're gonna give you the ideal situation. And I'm gonna say myself, not every single time do I do the ideal situation to you. No, because you know, you're gonna have clients that need a special something. So this is really just, um, well, this part right here, I pretty much, because some of these things are brand new, I'm gonna start incorporating them because they are like super duper new. But um, I did have a system that I used just for about everybody, but every once in a while you had that person that you had to personalize. Yeah, well-being evaluation is key. Um, because when you start out with the well-being evaluation, again, you've already established this is all about the whole trilogy. Uh, and if somebody you know for sure is not going to be a, a health coach in the future for, I don't know what that would be, I'm trying to think of somebody that I knew would not be a health coach, but we, we'd start out with the well-being tracker. That's somebody that's looking at the whole trilogy. You're showing them the, all aspects of it versus a health tracker is just about the physical health. So you choose which is best for the person you're talking to and then help them choose the program that's appropriate for their situation. It could be, most likely, it's gonna be the five-in-one plan utilizing the optimal health kit with, you, with the habits of health included in that. That's really key, because otherwise you're offering a weight loss plan. And then also, with the, the, health, or what, the health tracker or the well-being one, that is gonna be something that you're gonna track their progress throughout the journey. So assist them in placing their first order, really key. How many of you guys, and don't raise your hand if you have, say, oh, go ahead and go to my website and place your order. You, the first time maybe you did that, and then you said, okay, not again. We're there to help facilitate that order form, to help them get set up properly, and then we can make sure that, that, that they're on their way to the right thing. So we're gonna get the 30-day B-Slim kit with Habits of Health System. So place the client's uh, information in section two of our new, instead of it being the, the client, or the, we call it the client folder system, now it's called the client support, client support, support system. system. All right. We're learning these things. Yes. So. 
And so best choice for your new client, there's gonna be a video that you'll have access to that talks about why this is so important. If you don't believe it for yourself, please watch it. It's only a few minutes long and this will explain the process. But it's 30 days be slim, including the habits of health that comes with 17 favorite boxes and then five free choices, habits of health system, all included for $346.25. Everything somebody needs to get started on their journey. Instead of saying, do you want the habits of health system in your program? Most people will say, oh, I'm okay without it. Yeah. But if you say, this is how we start our clients, it's just a given. So it's a 30 day B Slim kit without, you can get, there's other choices besides the favorites, but all you have to do is add the bundle for $36 and it equates to the same amount. And I'll just mention that um, it's not on here, but the BSLIM hasn't changed, so they also get free shipping and they get the percentage towards their next order. We just don't have it on here. And um, I never ask people, I never ask them if they want the Habits of Health system. I automatically, I mean, that's our program. Yeah. It is. You just get them the food, that's like a diet. They're not gonna learn any Habits of Health or you're gonna have to tell them, which takes a lot more of your time so everybody always gets a Habits of Health system. Nobody has ever, nobody, in probably the last three years since I've automatically just did it and didn't ask them, nobody even asks it or says, oh, I don't want them, nobody. Oh gosh, I heard somebody say, but my clients don't read. Oh, I heard somebody over here say, oh, but they, my clients never break the book. Oh, my clients don't really, don't need that because they haven't read a book since they, anybody think that? I read your mind. Okay. What we've discovered is if they have it on hand at the time that they receive their order, they are much more likely to open it than if they don't have it, right? <laughs> and then when that first teachable moment comes along where they're saying, oh, my weight loss slowed down. Well, how's work going? Oh, gosh, it's so stressful. I haven't been sleeping. Oh, this is a really good time. And so now you've got a way to gear them towards that. And I love what Lori said, that they could have it on their microwave and just look, you know, and so, you know, if they're really busy, they can just go like this and wave over it and it'll just osmosisly get into their body. <laughs> just, just by opening it, that just, it shows that you postured our program as an optimal health program instead of posturing as a diet, just because they opened it up and saw it in their box. Absolutely, good point. Okay, so efficient duplicatable steps. You assist with placing their client's first order like we explained. Recommend it, start your client on that 30 days. We've already, I think we've drilled that one home a little bit. Everyone on the Be Slum Club, that is the ideal. If they start on the Be Slum Club, then you know that they're gonna automatically get a reminder that will allow them the opportunity to change their own order, be reminded that there's another one coming. And then that way they don't run out of products because if you've ever had a client in a good fat burning and they're like, woohoo, and they're on their way and feeling really good and they ran out of products, and they go out of fat burning. Have you ever had a hard time getting back on, going again? We wanna ensure that the very best for them is to stay on the Be Slim and the value associated with it. The free shipping and the, the uh, cash on account going toward their next order. And also when they have an order over, how much was it, $310, they, they're eligible for the savings on the, the sleep kit and the snacks and the, the Habits of Health bundle. All of those are available at a lower price, not only on their first or second order, but any time. I didn't realize that part, did you? That's pretty cool. We've got some great advantages going on right now. So the Habits of Health system, again, did I say this already? And not in each order, but for each of your you know, clients as they get started. And then teach uh, clients to place their second order. There's actually a little e email video that you'll get and you can actually pass it on to your client. They'll be able to help you instruct them instead of you having to sit there and guide them through it on the computer with them. It'll save all of you a lot of time and then teach clients to refer. How many of you are asking for referrals? I was a little hesitant in doing that myself. Anybody else? Oh no, what if I, uh, so a lot of times I don't even call them a referral. I said just, you know, gosh, if you're you know, thinking of somebody that really could benefit from our program, oh, Susie at work said something about that? Oh, I'd love to be able to help Susie like I've been helping you. Now you can say that honestly if you've been helping this person that's your client. So that it's really easy to just open your mouth and be able to say, I'm here for them too. I really would love to help them on their journey. Do you know somebody that can really benefit from this? If feel as good as you feel, I would love to be able to help them on their journey too. And I'll just mention, Take Shape Life has these little thank you note cards that you can buy that has like the trilogy on them. They're really cute and they're blank inside. 
And for every one of my clients when they order, I used to send them this huge welcome pack. Well, the welcome pack the company has is really nice now. And so what I've started doing is just writing a really nice, like, thank you for um, being part, or I think it's welcome to Take Shape for Life. So glad that you're gonna be one of my clients or my client. We're gonna have a great time getting you healthy and I look forward to your success. And then I clip on there um, five business cards and I'll, I have this little sticker that explains referral. You know, referral to your friends and well, we give a referral fee. You know, it's up to you, it's your business. But um, I have my clients giving my cards out all the time and they get that right, maybe, you know, that welcome note, that welcome letter comes, you know, sometimes before their food comes. So it starts getting them thinking they might have friends right away that want to do it with them. So it's a good practice to start. And even from the beginning, when they f you're first talking to them and they just placed their first order, I was hearing Dan Valentine say something I've heard for years, too, is like, you know, we're going to get you started, you're going to have that success that you've been looking for, and just be prepared. People are going to be noticing. And when they do, be sure to, to pass on my information because I'll be glad to support them. So that there's many opportunities to bring that up. So use client support system to stay organized. That's the, the current name now of the book. Folder system is the client support system, and boy, you guys should see this. There's some changes that are on there that'll make things so much simpler for you to be able to support your clients and the business coaches in the room to be able to support your health coaches helping their clients. So the Alacrity team changed the um, file folder system to the client support system. They felt there was too much training on the file system. They felt it was just too much and people were getting overwhelmed by everything that was on the file system. So they cut it down to just what they need to know for those clients as they move through their success. And um, I'm gonna show you, there's three different ways to do it, but I'll, I'll get to that in just one second. So what's in your client um, support system now are um, in the instructions on how to use it, and then all these tracking forms. And all these tracking forms you'll be able to download and print off, they're gonna be available, I think, either tomorrow or Monday. Um, I forget now what um, Mona said, but anyways, they're, they're, they're gonna be out soon. I think Stephanie's gonna tell us tomorrow. So you can get them right away. And um, it has a contact list form, the well-being trackers for those coaches and health coach candidates, and then the health trackers for those that just want to work on their body right now and their health. And then the health coach business coach tracker, those are when, those help, uh, when you start having new health coaches, then you're going to fill out a health tracker and put them in a certain file. And then we do have a connections list form, and there's, yeah, the contact list form is on there too. So now, instead of files, they're called sections, and you can... You know, we're trying to stay duplicatable, so it might take a little time to kind of switch your verbiage, but um, it's important to. Section one is now your candidate follow-up, so staying connection, staying connected. That's where you'd probably put your contact, um, your contact uh, um, list and also your connections list. Section two is your new clients, where you put them in their first couple weeks. Section three is your active clients. Section four is a new coach, a senior coach, and section five is your senior coach to executive director, director via the business path. And um, section six is an active client. Uh, a lot of people just kind of throw, you know, you haven't had a client for a while, and I've been, I've done this before too. They're out of it for a year. I take them out of my folder, and sometimes they find their ways to the trash can. Well, sometimes they come back in three years. And then you, when they probably a different place anyways, but it's nice to kind of look back and see where they were and see how they did. Kind of reminds you how many children they have and where they might be now. So there is an inactive client section um, and there will be hyperlink instruction video for all of this. Uh, can I add to that too? Also, I think that I've noticed that an inactive client coming back sometimes, especially if they were really successful at one time, when they come back the second time, they might have realized okay, the diet part didn't work so well, so how about we now really dig into the habits of health and really do that educational piece that's gonna ensure that you have long-term success. Or it could be that they did really well and they were using the habits of health, and now you say, you know what, remember how well you've done? I was so proud of you, I know we've lost contact for a while, and you're having to get back engaged, maybe lose that, that 20 pounds that you gained back. How about this time we surround you with a community of support? How would that be? You know, let's look at coaching as a way to give you that support and be able to turn around and, and have that accountability to your clients and you'll be able to set the example for them. That will keep you true to your program. And then I love the fact that there's a hyperlink. What's that? Yes.
They are not, they're gonna be downloaded and I've got one made up. So I'm gonna show you. All right. <laughs> okay, everybody else can come up front like that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Um, so setting up the support system, there's three different ways you can do it. And this, the Lackerty group, I guess all of the leaders, they have different ways that they were doing. Some people were putting it in, a, in the file folders. Um, that's the way I always did it. Some people put them in three ring binders. Some people like to keep them electronically. That's so the they, they made, yeah, Lisa's that, that kind of uh, computer guru. And um, so what they did is they made it available for all three. Um, I've got the binder in the file folder here, which I'll just show you. Do you want me to hold it? Okay, she's going to be my Vanna. barrel. Oh yeah, Vanna. Okay, now there's file folders in there. So we'll show you the... So what you're going to do is there's these sheets that you download and print off in your back. This is my understanding. Remember, I was in the Lackerty meetings. I wanted to. I tried to spy under the door when they were at my house. But... <laughs> I she's learned. right, yeah. <laughs> they, they, you can print them out and then add them to the folder. Yeah, so you print them out and then you paste them on the folder or put them in your three ring binder. And um, let's go ahead and do the three ring binder since you have that. I just want to show the cover. So each folder, um, what you would do is you.